so um, I decided in the event of Caroline's archival woohoo, um, that we would do some tribute type things with her page on the American Girl Play section on their website. Um, so our options are to meet Caroline, it's her stories, games, activities, and e-cards, but um, we won't really do e-cards because, um, I mean, I don't really know people to send e-cards to. Anyway. Alright, so, um, I figured, let's meet Caroline. So, of course, Caroline is from 1812. Some heroes wear uniforms, and some of us wear pink dresses. I'm Caroline Abbott. I've outfoxed enemy soldiers, chased thieves on my uncle's farm, and survived an icy dip in Lake Ontario. While I faced my share of adventures, the bravest thing I can ever do, my true act of courage, is to believe in myself. Today, my bravery will shine through. So this right here, I actually posted this excerpt, I believe, on Instagram or something very similar to it. And I was like, this is why Caroline should not be retiring because she shouldn't be. And um, it's not cool. So then we have all of her stories um, and um, her two um, mysteries from before, um, uh, Before Ever Came Out, are not in this list. So, um... It's just her sm the smuggler, smuggler Secret, which I can't even talk. The Smuggler Secret, um, which is your only Be Forever mystery. And it's her last Be Forever mystery because she is retiring. Um, and this is her first book that comes with her if you were to buy her in the Be Forever version. As well as the second book you could buy. And her book series are unbelievable. Um, and then uh, Catch the Wind, which is her journey book. And I've read excerpts for those, but if you want to actually read excerpts from each book, then you can come on over here and read the excerpts of the books and get to know Caroline a little better. Um, Story-wise, she's unbelievable. She is very courageous, very strong, very brave, um, and she's fearless. And that is the type of person that you need to showgirls today that exist and um that's one of the many reasons I am very angry that Caroline is being retired um and her doll's beautiful too but you know that's a different story I still have to upload my reviews by the way um I'm gonna have to edit that hmm. anyway um we'll have to see what I mean by that anyway after that we've got games which include these four Caroline's ship shape Caroline's Fishing Adventure, Picture Pieces, and Endless Style. Um, and for activities, we've got a puzzle. And then e-cards are kind of self-explanatory. Send them to people. That jazz. Anyway. Um, we shall do this in order. So we shall play Caroline's Ship Shape. And I played it earlier, and it's a super fun game. And um, I will be killing any music, by the way. Um, because it's... Distracting. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you play. Killed the music. But basically, I didn't want to let the music stick around for too long because it's loud. But basically, you have to stack the boxes and you have to stack them above the line um, for over three seconds for you to be able to pass. Um, and that was the first level right there. And if you get three strikes, you are out. So, um, oh, geez. Ultimately, um, you also see that there is a list of things there. And I think there's also a timer. Um, I don't know exactly how that works. Um, the timer I don't think shows up until you have the boxes over that line. Um, and apparently the, the goal line gets higher, um, over time. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, um, I keep trying to add more because the more you have in a stack, the more points you get. Um, so the last time I played this, I failed for no real reason. And I didn't understand why or how, per se, I failed. Um, I don't really know how that was... Thing because I did. I only had. I think I only had like one strike. I might not even even at any. So I don't know how that works, and I don't know um how many um 
um, you know, uh oh, um, that may or may not have been a strike. I'm not. Oh boy. No. Oh God. That right there was die. That's what happened. It died. We ran out of things. Okay, now I understand how I died. That's really ironic that that happened. So yeah, um, basically that's how you play Caroline Ship Shape. And um, I will reread this now that my music is bothering me. This is how to play. Use the mouse to move the cargo rope. Actually, you can move the cargo rope. I wasn't aware of this. Click the mouse to drop the cargo with the ship's deck. Obviously, I knew that how that works. Um, the bar at the top of the screen shows what piece of, piece of cargo is next, which I showed you. Click this. Stack the cargo so that it crosses the goal line before the timer runs out, such as this um, animation here. Uh, cargo must stay above the line for three seconds. Earn extra points for leaving the cargo in the cargo bar. Oh, so you get more points for leaving it in the bar than putting it out there. Okay, I didn't know this. When cargo, if cargo goes overboard, you get a strike. Like I said, if you get when you get three strikes, the game is over. Okay. Yeah, it's a fun game, so I totally recommend you play it before she retires and they take it away. So, yeah. Kelly's Fishing Adventure is also a really great game that I played. Um, excuse me, and I will also be taking the music away from. Although, looks like it already did it for me. So, Caroline Fishing Adventure, set a course for fun. Cast a line with Caroline in your favorite fishing spot and see how much you can reel in. How to play. You click the mouse to cast, press and hold the mouse to pull the line. If you're landing a fish, click on it and drag it to the basket. And here are your bonus items. A red star is extra time, a yellow star is easy catch, and a green star is extra points. That's what I meant to. Okay. But that is the thing I was, talk I was talking about. Um, and uh, I didn't want to catch that fish, but... That's why I was waiting, but sometimes you don't have a choice. So we got a pickerel. Oh, whoops. There's a casting thing, as you saw there. And, um, no, I don't want that fish. Um, so that casting thing there depends on when you click it, how far it goes out into the ocean. And, um, there don't seem to be a lot of fish. Oh, yeah, no, I just wanted that star. Um, and clearly, um, the bigger the fish, the, you know, more points you get. So I'm going to snag this fish right here, because I think that one's, yeah, that's a good fish. Um, one time I got a fish that was like, it was like 7,000. Although I think it, I also might have gotten one that was like over 10,000, which, that was impressive. No, 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 I don't want that fish. Oh, but I did get easy power, which is good. But it's intriguing because they screwed up the instructions. Whoops, I didn't do that either. Um, they screwed up the instructions. It's really intriguing. Um, and depending on like how well you cast and what fish you catch when you cast, um, is what basically is your score. Um, I don't know if that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Okay, good. It's a pumpkin seed fish. Okay, cool. Um, so I got a really good score last time. Um, I don't recall. Um, what it was that made my score so good, but we'll take it, you know. Extra time, 20 seconds of extra time, it looks like. Maybe it was 30, I don't know. Um, the bigger the fish is typically, yeah, see, 16,000, that's a great fish right there. And when you get a full power, you get 10,000 extra points, so you want to go for, um, the extra power, which is nice. Oh, and those yellow stars give you 15,000 points. So whenever you can snag one of those, it's pretty great. Smallmouth bass. And literally you have to, oh, yay. You literally have to click on the basket, click on the fish and drag it to the basket holding your mouse in order for that to work. So it's intriguing. Um, they physically have to grasp said fish, a northern pike. Oh, Cool. Full power three times in a row. That's that's good. Um, if I could get an extra time thing, that'd be nice. I wonder how much this fish is gonna give me. Nice lake trout. Oh my gosh, this is like good luck for me right now. I can see we got a really good score. I don't remember how much that one was. 
not too bad, but also not too good. No, 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 we are not getting that fish right there. No, no, no. We do, however. Fine, we'll accept that fish for 15,000. That's fair. Oh boy. No, we are not accepting that. No, I want that fish. Hey. Oh, and we got extra time. That was really, really lucky. 6,000 for a long no sucker. Sweet. I wonder if I can beat my high score. It's looking like I'm going to beat my high score. Yep. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I just beat my high score from when I played it earlier. Yippee. Full power. Let's see if I can make 200,000. Now that I said it, it probably won't happen. But you know what? We're going to try. It's going to be great. Uh-oh. I did not mean to catch you. Piece of work. Pickerel. You're not important. You're not important. No, I want I want you as a fish. No. I'll take you, though. Lolly. Nice. I would really like to get another thing of time, but I highly doubt that will happen. As you can see, the bigger fish typically get more. Um. Oh my god, I'm so close! <gasps> I don't think I can pull it off. <gasps> Extra time! Extra time! I might have spoken too soon. Can we do it? You, right there, are going to get us a lot of points, I can tell. Yes, we reached 200,000! Yay! This is fun. Oh, man, that was a 15,000 thing right there. Yes, give us full power. Oh, yeah, give us extra time. That's it. Oh, no, I missed it. Dang it. Walleye again. So, basically, you could just fish. It's very fun. Uh-oh. We've got, like, seven seconds left. Give me that. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. Give me, give me. Give me, give me. Fishy. Give me. Oh. 17,500 for the bowfin. Wow, guys, look at the high score difference. This is the high score I got when I played earlier, and that's the first time I ever played the game. And this is the high score I just got. <gasps> that was great. Okay. I've never played picture pieces. I think it's an all-together game. It's intriguing. Okay. You're so wet. This type of game, okay. Oh, I can't do anything with that yet, though. These games are typically torture. <laughs> um, actually, this one's easier than the Webkins version, which is interesting. Interesting note. Kit. Okay, it disappeared. Caroline! Goodbye, Caroline. Kit. Take your kit. Kaya. Question mark. Oh, I can't get that question mark yet, though. Who's that? I don't know. I think, they, I think that's Kit. Kit again. Samantha. Oh, I can't get to that Samantha, though. Ivy. Um. Okay, snag that. Pinwheel flower. J for Julie. Julie J. <laughs> J for. I can't touch that, Julie. Okay, fine. Fine! I can't touch either of those. It's like that's the annoying aspect of this particular game. You just honestly have to work really hard. Because um, sometimes it just is stupid and it doesn't do what you want, which is more than annoying. 
Whee! Okay, can I? No, because it's in the middle. Typically, middle ones do not work very well. Okay, I can't touch that. Okay. Oh, can I touch those? Sweet. Okay. Um, swirlies. Those. Intercept. Oh, those aren't the same. I thought they were. I can intercept those, though. Leaves. Oh, no. Those leaves are different from those leaves. Okay. Um. No, I can't touch either of those. Who? I can't touch those. No, I can't. Okay. Um. Oh, I can touch kits. Letters. Cool. I can touch these two snowflakes. Oh. Looks like we had time added. I think that hurts don't. What does this snow mean? Oh, you know what? It's probably going to switch us. It's going to switch everything in a minute. Which is really annoying, actually. Or it can just disappear. Like I said, oh no, this game works. Well, that's actually more of a feather, and that's more of a leaf. I don't even know. I don't know, you guys. Okay, um. Okay, we'll do that. Safina. Okay, no. Okay, it's nothing. We'll take those. Take those. Take those. Take those. Oh no. Take those. Nope. Can't. No, can't. Um. Can't touch that either. Then what the heck is going on? Um. It's probably right in front of my face and I miss. Oh, here it is. Oh, but that's not gonna unlock anything now, is it? Um, ha. Oh, but it just unearthed Addy. Okay, we can get those though. Out of the way. It's because of this. They can't touch it. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Can't touch that either. Okay. Can't touch that. God. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Not really, but we're kind of getting somewhere. Yay! Okay, um... This is really complicated. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, we are definitely missing something somewhere. Here we go. What? The shuffle button. Okay. Alright, right there. We had no choice but to shuffle, so we shuffle. Because we have to shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. Da, 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 da. You get the gist. You get the deal. Okay, we're good. We're gonna stop singing. Because our singing voice is awful. And by our, I mean mine. Because I don't know how you guys sing. I just know that my singing, for the most part, sucks. <laughs> Especially on like recording devices. It just does not sound good. For whatever reason. Okay. Um. Julie. Caroline. Julie. Oh, frig. Oh, boy. Okay. Are we at the point where we have to shuffle again? Is this a thing? Apparently. Oh, wait. I don't know why you're snowing. I don't like you snowing. There are four matching on the board. I'm aware of this, but I can't touch them. Although it would tell me if there were no matches. This is just me trying to figure it out. Oh, here we go. There we go. We got it. Okay. Uh, Samantha and Samantha. Here we go. I can't touch Josie, though. Oh, boy. Um. Oh, yeah. Now we can touch that. And that. And that. And then those. As a result of that. And Josie. And the flowers. And uh, the two, those, I can't touch that. I can touch that, though, and I can, as a result, I can't touch Addy yet. Touch that? No, I can't touch that either. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We cleared the board. Yay! Okay. And as for Endless Style...
this is all about the Project One Way thing. We're gonna go to Caroline's. Caroline Abbott, 18. It's 1812, stupid. Apparently, it's like those particular years, like the, 18, the 1760s. And Life during the War of 1812 was exciting, and sometimes dangerous. Many times I've helped my friends and family fight the enemy, yet I'm always dressed like a young lady, even when sailing. Fortunately, my dresses fit loosely below the waist, which makes them fairly comfortable. But dresses are long and sometimes get in the way. It's a good thing I wear stockings and pantalettes. They keep my legs covered when I lift my skirt to rush off and help save the day. I carry small things in a drumstick purse called a, a reticule. This dress is an empire waist, a high waist that sits just below the chest. Clothing is often trimmed with handmade lace, embroidery, or ribbon. So let's do this in honor of Caroline, which is one of the pale skin. And her hair is going to be curly. Oh, but it's so long. Long curly hair. Oh, you know I lied. No, we do. I wasn't done. We want um blue eyes, just like that. Now we can turn off the noise. There we go. We are good. And we are going to dress her like Caroline. So here's what Caroline's clothes consist of. That's the modern day Caroline outfit. This right here is the modern day Caroline outfit. There are no dresses. There's this top, these pants, those shoes, and this jacket. And it's very cute. So this is Caroline, essentially. And we are going to put her um, in this blue backdrop. It's very much Caroline. And you can save. Um, you can save the picture that you, of the creation you made, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Um, and you can mix and match. And you can also dress um, in a historical character like you with all the historical clothing. It's really cool. Um, anyway, but this is Caroline's puzzle. And this is the last bit of our journey. And it looks like once you finish, you can solve, you can make it a wallpaper. So, um, I mean, basically, I guess you just click and drag puzzle pieces. It's gonna be lower, I feel. There we go. Um, and ultimately, I mean, you just piece it where you think it's gonna go. And I mean, yeah, you might have a little bit of difficulty at times, but um, ultimately it'll be okay. Because you can figure it out. You're smart. I can guarantee you, you are smart. You may not think so, but I know you are smart. Alright. I'm not necessarily ready to go to sleep yet, but um, I'm getting tired. I had more videos I wanted to make. No. So, that kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> uh, no. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just cherishing my time that I have left to be able to say Caroline is a historical character. And, um... I mean, I can understand people thinking that I'm overreacting and all that, but from what I've seen, um, comments-wise, is most people are sad like me. Maybe not as sad as me, because we all know I'm probably one of the most devastated people ever by this announcement, but um, we also know that um, I'm very passionate about these things, so... Not gonna go there. It's gonna go there. We go. She has so much hair, just like my Caroline. 
My Caroline's hair is so thick, luxurious. I love it so much. I really hope that, you know, for all the people who want Caroline, I really hope that they have the chance to get her before she retires because she is ultimately um, one of the most phonogenic, beautiful um, dolls ever. And she's unique um, in her story um, as well as in um, her, um, her looks. Um, but anyway, here we go. Yay! What a pretty picture. She's so pretty. This shouldn't be a thing. That's just so sad to think that Caroline's going to disappear. So, yeah. Anyway, I am... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little segment on, excuse me, honoring Caroline. And, excuse me again, um, I hope you enjoy. And um, thanks so much for watching. And uh, Caroline, you will be dearly missed. So yeah, um, my reviews will be coming soon. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys soon.